Let's hear it for Faye Lane. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fatty, fatty, two by four, couldn't get through the bathroom door. When I was in the third grade, I heard that song just about every single day. And it almost broke my heart because what I wanted more than anything in the whole world was to be a beauty queen. See, I grew up in my mother's beauty shop in Texas, this old A-frame house with big mirrors and swivel chairs in the front room and shampoo bowls in the old back bedroom. But no matter how bad the teasing got, the beauty shop ladies could always make me feel better. Well, I like teasing. Your mama's teasing my hair right now. In <laughs> fact, if it wasn't for teasing, my hair would be just as flat as a pancake. <laughs> Baby, don't you listen to those horrible children. They're just jealous. You're not one bit fat. You're just voluptuous. And you can sing like a little bird. Can they sing? I bet they can't sing. <laughs> Sometimes after school, I would sit on the porch in this glittered up Burger King crown, pretending like I was a beauty queen, sitting up in a convertible in a parade. And sometimes I would practice my beauty queen acceptance speech. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You know, when I was just a little fat child, y'all made fun of me, but I forgive you. For in the words of Jesus Christ, to who I dedicate this crown, y'all knew not what y'all did. I just knew in my heart that one day my life would change. So you can imagine my excitement when I learned that Mrs. Gandy's third grade spring production would be Peter Rabbit, the musical. I stood in shock and horror when it was announced that I had been cast in the pivotal role of the green bean. I said, Mrs. Gandy, I cannot do this. I cannot wear this. A fat green bean? They're going to make fun of me. And I can sing, Mrs. Gandy. My talent is wasted on that bean. She said, well... I tell you what, child, I will give you a solo, but you better get up there and pour your heart out on that stage, and don't you let those children tell you who you are. You show them who you are. I decided in that moment that I would be the best damn green bean ever to grace the stage. I strategically re-safety pinned my crepe paper pea pods to hide my figure flaws, and I attached my glittered up Burger King crown to the hideous pea pod hat. I looked in the mirror and I felt so beautiful until I got backstage where I stood with a stone in my throat, unable to move, unable to breathe. I couldn't even open my eyes. I heard the curtain open, and I heard my music cue, and I just stood there. Finally, I peeked into the audience, and I saw my mom, still in her uniform from the beauty shop, looking really nervous. And then I saw the beauty shop ladies. They were all there, and they came to see me. And you know why? Because they loved me, no matter what, exactly the way I was. And I couldn't let them down. So. I took a deep breath and I started to sing. And the song I sang that night is still really close to my heart because it's sort of become a theme for my whole life. <laughs> I'm the tiny, weeny bean living in the garden green. I love to bask in the sun all day. All I do is sleep and play From my smallest veiny Jane To my teeny weeny spleen I am healthy through and through Eat me, I'll be good for you <laughs> From Dallas clear to Abilene And all of Texas in between Y'all have surely never seen a bean so keen and lean and mean. I'm a green bean queen.
Thank you. Hey, Lane.